gold and silver traded bullish yesterday again and showed a very good swing where we have seen gold coming off from the highs at 2354 and hitting the lows at 2320 while silver traded in a range from 2800 or 28 dollars to 2720. Now what to expect today from gold and silver? How we can profit? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. This is the first update for the day. This next update will be released before the US session. Watch that as well. Thus, subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notifications or join the free telegram channel for live update. Also, do like, share and comment friends. It is always a great support and motivation for me. Let's start. First, we'll look into gold, followed with silver. Watch till the end. And if you're not joined the channel memberships here on YouTube, join the channel memberships. Now, see, yesterday, I have mentioned that see the bumps in gold and whenever it tries to diverge from the 20 period moving average it converges towards it what has happened here it has converged beautifully towards the 20 period moving average and now if you look at it, it is forming identical symmetrical formation you can see this if you divide this into two taking the support from the 20 period symmetrical 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 and right now delivering lower highs we also noticed yesterday that and uh, in our weekly review as well and in our monthly review as well few days back very clearly i have mentioned 2350 2360 is a resistance zone and is an achievable level yesterday it has achieved it now we can see the bullishness has diminished i will wait for it to break now about 2350 then 2360 levels these two levels are going to remain crucial for gold to break past by now also if you look at the early charts you can find out if you divide this into two you will find there is a support getting created at around 20 23 35 23 38 zone you can see multiple candles getting reversed and the 20 period moving average sitting at 23 36 so yes you can sell at 23 35 but i will look forward to 23 30 32 as the first support levels and then below that 23 26 levels below which only we should treat this as bearish as gold is still not to be considered bearish a stochastic flat macd converged trying to cross over for a buy it has not yet crossed over rsi flat on the two hour similar is the observation on the two hour charts as well symmetrical formation and it can lead to higher highs as well moving towards 2360 thus if you see gold is staying above 2350 you can initiate a buying entry there but 54 55 first and then 60 level second nearest and strongest resistance a stochastic overbought macd almost remaining flat rsi remaining flat here on the three hour charts the observation is similar and right now it appears that see look at the preceding candle as well there was a push from the upside where prices or candle has closed with a minimal body size next is you can see higher lows so it suggests that there is going to be a stronger support here and only bearishness is if you see gold is staying below the zone at 23 38 36 below which slight bearishness can be observed towards 32 30 zone also another point to note here is lower highs is what we have seen and lower lows is what we are observing here so again the support levels at 2320 if it tries to drop from the current levels 2320 in 18 is going to be the stronger support if you look at stochastic there is, this is near to overbought macd after the dip here has again come to the highs here delivering lower highs of crossover here is what i will wait for rsi rising coming to four hour charts similar observation only thing to in the four hour charts is the lower highs and the higher lows it is trying to form thus it is very very important for gold to come out of this zone the stock is rising here macd is trying to convert crossover for sell remember this double top and higher levels is what we can see and a crossover here can lead to another round of bearishness now this time the bearishness is going to be sharper see it is dropped here it is converged again and crossed over here now it is willing to cross over again if this crosses over here it can try to move further on the downside rsi rising coming to the daily and before we look into daily charts if you want to learn this art of trading you can be part of my 30th mentorship batch starting now on 15th of april register yourself now do not miss this opportunity and equip yourself with the tools techniques strategies and the trade setup which we have developed over the years of experience with the help of which you can identify profitable trades and trade profitably 
else you can be part of my signals channel on telegram we are trading as per the signals you can benefit so write an email or ping me on telegram for any of your queries and also those who had asked me to recommend a broker which is safe secure trustworthy with, with global presence which offers a swap free account with the lowest spreads the focus is on lowest spreads and the swap free account you should not miss this migrate now to the recommended broker link is there in the channel and video description if you join through the link you'll get the lowest spreads on offer now coming to the daily charts you can see higher lows here higher highs here very clearly it is staying bullish second is look at this candle and this candle can you see the symmetry here you can see this candle coming from the lows and closing at the top and this candle starting in green but getting a push from the upside now if you divide or you can connect these two highs you will find the median now is at 2310 levels and if gold trades below 2310 and then 23 you can say prices are reversed and then a price drop can be expected else it is still not bearish remember again i highlighting this fact now what is happening today it is open flat it is trying to move upwards i will be looking forward to at best at double top or lower highs which increases the probability of a reversal and in fact even if you see it at 60 62 zone expect that from those levels also reversal is possible but once gold moves beyond 2360-62 remember it is not going to come back do not think of selling gold you can look forward to 2375-80 and then 2400 levels be careful here today's day is going to decide which direction it wants to take now look at the 20 period moving average and the median of the Bollinger Bands 2250-2240 the more it diverges from the moving average the chances of conversion increases look at this look at the conversion look at this possible conversion cannot be denied a possible conversion means 20 to 80 levels 20 to 70 levels at least but let's have a further detail look a stock stick has also come to overbought levels symmetrical formation is what you should focus on look at meg now one must focus on right rise retracement and a rise again it is trading with extreme divergence extreme bullishness and this call, calls for a reversal in gold very very soon if not today then with the cpi data tomorrow but a reversal in gold has to be there rsi is also staying overbought so looking at this for the day i will recommend you to first let's have a talk about the buying i will recommend you to buy here at 23 48 50 zone you can buy here but then 23 54 55 first resistance 23 60 62 the second one if these two resistances are taken then gold will be considered in a bullish territory and then you can look forward to 23 75 and 80 levels as the next target zone beyond which 2400 will be seen on the downside a selling entry at 23 38 37 levels can be taken below which we can look forward to 23 30 32 as the first targets 23 26 25 as the next and then 23 18 20 as the third one yesterday we have seen 23 18 20 giving it a very good support but this time this will not work we should look forward to 23 10 as the first and strongest support there Below 2310 is where the fall lies and we can look forward to a sharper drop. So take your positions accordingly. Now let's have a look at silver. Silver on the early charts drop retracement. You can see it is trying to take the support from the 20 period moving average. Now again yesterday also I have mentioned you can sell here at 2775, 2770 zone. Now today again the same levels you can sell at 2770 but then 2760 is going to be one critical level it needs to break and if it draws below 2760 you can look forward to 2740 levels now see what has happened here look at the formation is silver first drop towards 50 period moving average second rise second drop towards the 50 period moving average third rise it has achieved slightly higher highs but again trying to come back now 50 period moving average here is sitting at 27 40 45 zone so this is again going to be a very good experience and a very good support here below which you can expect 27 20 levels and if it draws below 27 20 then only we are looking forward to a sharper drop else it is still staying bullish also look at the symmetrical formation here identically symmetrical what happened here is a stronger rise what can happen here is a stronger fall let's watch out more 
stock elastic at bottom magd is divergent and bearish rsi is staying flat on the two hour chart similar observation look at the reversal symbol and look at the bearish candle here also look at the preceding candle which comes with the bigger swing and coming from coming at the highs here so yes this could be the reversal confirmation where the prices might take a u turn on the downside the stock has to get dropped the magd is trading with divergence and bearishness rsi is also looking downwards on the 3 hour charts uh, one must focus on the reversal candle and the previous candle which is can be a reversal candle thus if you see it is staying below 2770 2760 stay short for 2740 and from there we can see series of bearish candles taking it till towards 2720 and lower levels see first drop second drop third drop in making almost coming from a double top levels we can look forward to 2740 at least the stock has stick near to overbought macd crossed over trading with divergence in bearishness rsi flag coming to 4r on the 4r chart similar observation here right now we have to wait for 2770 and 2760 levels to be breached on the downside if you look at stock has stick this is near to overbought macd has crossed over here and it, this crossover has come at a slightly higher level this calls for it to slide a little right now it is resisting right now it is hesitant but once it moves with conviction a stronger drop cannot be denied rsi coming out of the overbought zone coming to the daily now look at the daily charts higher highs and x you can see this is a narrowing triangle and see the highs today though it has achieved higher levels than yesterday but it is showing a pullback so higher lows means it can try to move towards 27 20 levels and from those levels a possible further bearishness can be expected which can take the prices on the downside towards 26 80 26 50 now look where is the 20 period moving average for silver 26 dollar levels and the median of the bullinger bands at 25 80 too much of divergence calls for it to converge let's wait and watch if today is the day for the reversal one more point to remember as long as 27 20 26 80 zone is not taken in silver we should not be treating silver as bearish it can bounce back up any point of time the stock has stick divergent and bullish see uh, it has achieved a good higher levels here which increases the chance of a reversal see the candles have spiked here whenever we see such highs it always calls for a reversal so it is going to be happening soon rsi is overbought is now one thing is very very clear if you see silver is staying about 2795 the lower levels about 2795 you can initiate a buying entry here expect 28 10 28 20 as the first target and very strong resistance if silver stays about 28 20 do not think that it is going to come back we can look forward to 28 40 5 2855 as the first target levels and then beyond that 29 dollar levels can be seen but i see that the farther it goes from the current levels the more or the higher will be the chance for the pullback on the downside i will recommend you to sell here at 2770 but then we have to be careful at 2760 2740 2720 once it draws below 2720 you can say that the bearishness will increase there and we can look forward to 2680 2650 levels let's see which direction it takes and you have to just trail your stop losses i have told you the critical support and resistances you have to ensure that within those levels you have to be trailing your stop loss take your positions accordingly like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch and signal channel reach out to me for any of your queries write an email or ping me on telegram join the free telegram channel and do like share and comment thank you have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you see you again before the us session